YouTube, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at a really cool 99 shooting evolution that came out today. We're also going to be looking at some investments you could be making as well as a potential Brazilian icon SBC coming out soon and expected content in the next couple days. But before we get into all that, we got to talk about content today on Saturday. If you want to have millions of coins in EAFC like me, go to u7buy.com for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Teddy at checkout to get 6% off your order link is in the description down below content today on saturday was solid we got mini release we got sbcs we got evolutions there's a little bit to go over let's start off with the sbcs sbcs what did we get player sbc we knew this was coming we said it in the previous video essien got an sbc he cost just about where is he at i think he's just under 900 000 coins let me just confirm that really quickly 11 squads and yeah 850,000 coins for this card um not terrible not a terrible card looks solid some people were maybe comparing him to chavi and saying ah you know i can go buy chavi's card for like 450k why would i pay this much 850k for essien but it's so easy to come by fodder at the moment on this game and i do think as a defensive midfielder I mean, maybe even just as a card, to be honest, as well. I, I like Essien more. So more expensive if you're looking price-wise, but the fodder is so easy to come by with objectives and everything. So I like the Essien. Looks solid. Here's his card. Good play styles. Big boost to his shooting as well. His team of the year card, I think, has like 77 shooting. So big boost to the shooting. And he's, he's close to all 90-plus stats. Solid card. Box-to-box, -box, defensive midfielder, whatever you want to play him as, I think he could play there. Uh... That was the player SBC of the day. The upgrade SBC for the day was an 84 plus times 7 upgrade. Um, we got rid of the 83 times 10. This replaced it as we were expecting something to replace it. Repeatable three times every single day. My webcam blocks it. 84 plus times 7. You can see top left corner, 84 plus times 7. Same requirements as the 83 plus times 10. 83 overall squad as well as a team of the week required. We did see team of the weeks go up a little bit. They've really just been sitting around this 30,000 coin range. I think they were up at like 33K. They are back down a tiny bit. Um, and, and that's really that with Team of the Weeks. They have not been rising a crazy amount. We need, for them to really rise a good amount, you're going to need like, to see the 40K plus range again, you're going to need to see something like a fully repeatable SBC that requires a Team of the Week, like an icon. The hero, no one really cares about that um brooke is texting me nothing important i'm gonna turn my notifications off sorry brooke so that's the 84 times 7 solid pretty easy to just do the sbc again with whatever you get from the pack as long as you have a team of the week and those were the sbcs of the day 84 plus times 7 not moving anything a crazy amount just making it so the team of the weeks don't drop in the Essien sbc we Essien comes out and not a bad looking card. We it's fodder's not moving. Fodder just refuses to move at the moment. Um, it's it's mind blowing how cheap fodder is on this game. But enough about that. Enough about the SBCs. Let's look at this evolution. We had Club Ninety Nine shooting, but we have a new one, Atomic Ace, which also gives you Ninety Nine shooting, and it's pretty dope there are some decent cards for it we'll head over to footbin the best card being Cecenia, it looks like and if we take a peek at his card five star skills five star weak but if you put him to the fc founder um it'll be like this 94 pace 99 shooting 83 passing 88 dribbling it's a pretty solid card and uh yeah, that, that seems like the best one, to be honest. We can look at it. It's, this is the difference. 90 Cecenia, 91 Cecenia. It's just a one rating difference between the, um if you put them in the in the founder, Evolution first. Welcome to Evolutions if you do that. If, if we don't, I mean, we can look at it without that, just straight up putting it into Atomic Ace. Where is it at? Atomic Ace is right... I guess you have to put him into Welcome to Evolutions for it. Why? Why is that? I have no idea why that's the case. Maybe it's just not working. Um, but 92 pace, 99 shooting. It's a cool evolution, basically. I think really the only one that might be worth it is Cecenia. Or if there's a player that like you really like. Maybe there's a player that you like who's not that high in rating. You can put him to the into the evolution and have a pretty decent card. 
So that was the new Evo today. Pretty cool. And then we got mini release as well. And then I want to look at a store pack because there's a pretty cool store pack at the moment. But before we do that, let's take a peek at mini release. What did we get? We got a worse version of Vidic. We got Gary Lineker, Desai. Pretty solid card. He's got the Raccoon playstyle plus, and I believe that's block, right? Correct? Block? Block playstyle plus. Yeah. Solid card. Can play defensive midfield as well. So nice. Nice, usable player. We got Keen, Shit Keen, and we got Good Keen. Um, both are probably just going to end up being fodder. It's crazy. This guy's been out for a few hours, and he's already only 60,000 coins. This is a crazy market that we're in at the moment. It's just insane how cheap cards are i mean i guess it's because some of these spcs it's really easy to get really good players it's really easy to get fodder it's really easy to get packs from objectives i don't know it's it's just crazy to me how cheap some of these cards are on this game but let's go take a peek at the store also i guess store packs affecting these cards being so cheap the store packs on this game they're ridiculous and people are opening them it's crazy people still continue to open these packs it's wild but this right here is the pack a lot of people were talking about supreme golasso guarantee it includes one golasso hero or icon obviously it's just a golasso promo card rated 89 or higher so you're guaranteed a golasso promo card you're also getting 50 rare golds all 85 or higher two are guaranteed to be 87 or higher so it's a pretty massive pack and um a lot of people are opening it with coins i think is this the same one we had last week as well i think it's the same one and it's just returned and it's it's just it's a massive pack it, this is the pack if you're looking for a pack to open this is the pack that everyone was saying like value wise is best value i guess we would say so if you want to open it i mean a lot of people were even opening it with coins if i could open the pack with coins i would think about it but i mean i'm still out here with so many fantasy cards because i'm so lazy i am just not selling them i think 100 like i know i've been saying this for so long 100 i'm gonna sell my fantasy cards but like 100 my fantasy cards will be sold all tomorrow on sunday i'm done i'm done holding tomorrow sunday i'm gone so that was mini release that was the story pack that's pretty much content for the day what's going on with fodder what's going on with the market you guys know i don't like the market i think a lot of stuff is just going to keep dropping especially as we get closer to team of the season especially if we get a team of the season leak and as you can see golasso team two just going down in price golasso team one as well ginola before team two came out he was i think just over three mil now he's 2.7 ala wyron's down a little bit more croy everyone's down bobby charlton they're all down Kafu holding his value actually but it's just we're in a market that's just going down and fodder as well is still just so cheap look at 85s below 3k 86s below 5k what i was just looking at these how are they this cheap this is just insane i mean these fodder prices are getting crazy and that's really the only investment i, I have that that's it investment fodder cards but also the there's one more. I want to mention Road to the Final cards. Uh, if you do want to pick some of these up, Champions League, Europa League, all those are returning next week. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, we could see some of these cards just go up in the hype of their game. Would I hold them into their games? I don't think I really would. But if you wanted to pick up some players and just sell them before their game, it's not a terrible idea. Like Tella is up against West Ham. If you want to try to pick him up for as close to 70k as possible it's not a terrible move he was just like 68k um emerson is up against buyer leverkusen buyer leverkusen are really good i don't know if i would do that any of these cards you just buy them hold them until their game sell before though i don't think i would hold into the game there's not many like guaranteed wins like dortmund's up against atletico madrid that's not going to be easy for either of those teams um if we look in the europa league i don't think there's really an easy one milan versus roma maybe liverpool but darwin nunez is 1.35 mil so it's just really expensive um there's no like standout team i don't think but if you do want to pick any of those up and just hold until um their games that's fine now fodder you guys know what it is it's just hey 
you buy it and we're going to wait till before team of the season. We've talked about this many times. I'm just saying the same thing over and over again. Uh, you're just buying now or you're buying Thursday. That's basically it. You're either going to buy now. It's really cheap. Hold until before team of the season or buy Thursday with rival rewards because rival rewards, it supplies fodder a lot and fodder gets very cheap. So the fodder that I'd be watching is anything. You can do 84s. There's zero risk, but I'd there's zero risk it's as simple as that i do think they can rise but i would try to target the 85s or higher 85 86 87 88 is probably as far as i would go um and that's pretty much that i'd say 85s try to get for like 27 86 is below 5k 87s below 9k you want closer to like 85 86 87 88 as close to 13k as possible um this keen's the cheapest one he does have a better version. Are they different at all? They're a little different. I mean, if you're going to be buying fodder anyway, you could pick up this version of Keen. Uh, and with that, you could try to list them for the price of the better Keen. Can you, are the prices doable? It is doable. You could try that. Maybe, can you do that with cool as well? Hold on. I want to take a peek. I'm just trying to think, like, if you're buying fodder anyway, is there any other card that could be specifically maybe a little bit better? Can you do it with this? Cool. You can't. The price is too far off. So maybe you could try to do that with Keen. <laughs> it's a scummy thing to do, but basically you list the Keen for the price of the other one, and you hope people buy your Keen instead of a 91 Keen. It's just it's just luck. That's really all it is. You're just hoping someone's blind. But that's the fodder situation. And you guys know the sell time on it. It's for before team of the season because before team of the season, we should get some sort of team of the season warm-up type promo where they release SBCs. No one's really opening packs, so not a lot of supply, but there's demand for the SBCs. So you see fodder go up. We looked at it last year on FIFA 23. All fodder rose. Like everything rose because of all the SBCs that we got and no one was really opening packs before team of the season. Now, it could be different this year. It might not be the exact same. Store pack wise, everything's different. Maybe the way they do a team of the season warm up is different, but I'm just letting you know, FIFA 23, fodder did really good before because of all the SBCs before team of the season. Now the filters, we've been over it, but I'll just show it again real quick. Um, someone was asking about team of the weeks as well until team of the weeks come down in price. I'm not really going to be touching them. So I'm not watching team of the weeks. That's my answer there. Uh, your fodder filters though, this is what they're going to look like. It should be pretty easy to get deals. That's your 85 filter two one two two nine nine ten K. I mean, look at all these bids. Just try to get some deals on bids. I, I really think you can make a lot of coins just doing this as a trading method. It doesn't even have to be like, Hey, I'm investing just trading, doing this should make you some good coins. That's your filter for 86s, 36s, 39, 10, Look at all those 86s that pop up. Can I bid? I can't. I still got to do the unassigned glitch. I, I think I have like four to 500 fantasy cards still left to sell, which is insane. Your filter for 87s is going to look something like that. And those are your filters for picking up fodder. 88s is going to look like that. If you want to buy fodder, that's what you can do. Try to get some deals on bids. Just get some deals on bids in lazy list. List your cards for, if you buy cards, list them, list them up. There's no point in having the cards sitting there doing nothing. Like if you're buying 87s, I bought 87s for 86, 83, 85, 87. List them up for like 97, 98 and just keep relisting, keep relisting. If you get a sale, awesome. If you don't, just keep relisting. Lower budget guys, stick to the 85s, I think. I mean, 85s, the lowest they can go is 2-1. So they really can't go much lower. So that's it's getting that's getting ridiculous. All these prices on fodder is the lowest we've seen since the game came out. It's it's absolutely insane. I don't know if it's a combination of too many packs, not as many people playing the game. It's it's something. But uh that's that. Let's talk about expected content. What do we have? What do we have for leaks? So expected content, obviously, tomorrow is Sunday. It should be a hero SBC coming out to replace the current icon SBC. And then there's also, where's the, there's the icon. There's also a leak. We talked about it in the previous video, FIFA Trading Romania. Do I have it right here? There we go. FIFA Trading Romania. Ooh, where is it at? And boom, Brazil, bomb, 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 Brazil. SBC, yes. So if we go into Footpin, is it still trending? Ronaldinho was trending on Footpin. Is he still there? No, Ronaldinho was the top trending card. So people are saying 
a the Brazil is going obviously it's going to be an SBC. People are saying Ronaldinho. This was one of the most popular guesses. Um, I've heard a pretty strong claim of it being this Ronaldinho, like almost borderline confirmed base Ronaldinho. Kind of disappointing to be honest. Um, if it was Thunderstruck, that'd be awesome. I feel like a bit more understandable, but I don't know how a base Ronaldinho is going to be compared to other cards at the moment on this game. But you know what? It'll be fun. I'll do his loan, use him on my zero to a mil account where I only play friendlies. Uh, it could be Pele. The three, the three names that people were shouting out was Ronaldinho, Pele, and R9. Pele is only 1.7 mil. Dino costs more than Pele, so it could very well be Pele. Um, R9 is where it starts to be a little bit of a stretch because if we look at R9, he is almost 4 million coins. So a little bit of a stretch. But I mean, we look at these cards and, and people are saying, hey, it might be, it's too early for an R9. But like, we are about to have team of the season. Team of the season, we're going to start seeing players with three playstyle pluses. So with that, a, a base R9 with one playstyle, it's just, it's, it's, they're kind of falling behind the power curve. There are better cards. It's just like the name of R9. I'm sure R9 is still ridiculously good in game, but there's just going to be a lot of cards that are going to have three, three playstyle pluses. They're going to be nasty. Those cards are going to be falling behind the power curve. So, uh, I don't know. I, I I don't want it to be Dino. I, I don't want it to be Pele even. I would prefer for it to be R9, but uh, we'll see. I you, you could pick up some higher rated fodder if you wanted for one of these SBCs, but like I really don't think if it's Dino, I, I don't think the I don't think fodder is going to rise if it's Dino. I don't think fodder is going to rise if it's Pele. It, it, the only one that would make fodder actually rise, some of the higher rated fodder actually rise, I think would be R9. I think that's the only one because I just don't know how many people are going to go out and do a Ronaldinho or a Pele. I mean, look at my team. If we take a peek at my team real quick, I have Cruyff. I have people have Sawa. People have Eusebio. There's just a lot of cards, a lot of SBCs that people did. And I just, I, I don't know. Maybe Dino can go into people's teams. We'll see. But that is it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, comment section down below. My trading Discord, Twitch live stream description down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.